Hey guys, so I thought that today I would share some glimpses into our Owl Moon unit study. So this was a unit study that I initially put together for my preschooler, but I decided to pull in some fun resources to involve my early and middle elementary school grade children. So if you have kids around these ages, stick around, you might find something that you would enjoy. So day one for our Owl Moon unit study, I set up a reading invitation. I do this for any uh, reading based unit study. So the reading invitation has a bunch of different books from the library and resources that I've found. I'll put some links in the description box below and a fun snack because anything is fun if it involves food when you're four years old, right? So this is a great invitation. I read the book aloud. So I read Owl Moon and then I just let the kids pass some fun books around. I usually just set a timer for five or seven minutes and the kids pass the books around and around and it makes it kind of fun and there's time limit. My older kids keep a written fact sheet or illustration sheet of things that they're learning and they wanna discuss after they pass the books around. So day two of our five day unit study is when we pull out some discussion questions and resources from five in a row volume two. So since this is a book that is available for purchase, I prefer not to show everything that we did, but there was some great discussion involved about father child relationship, rules and flexibility, self control, metaphor, simile and hyperbole. So if you are interested in five in a row, those are some of the topics that were covered in this one book alone. On day three, we watched a documentary by National Geographic Wildlife. It's called Lions, Owls, and Frogs, I believe. I will put a link for that below as well. And we did this fun craft project that just gets the kids' hands busy. I feel like when my kids have something to do with their hands, they're able to listen and retain more information, and that was true in this case. So this is a really simple project using Crayola, uh, air drying clay, and simple washable paints. And then it was time to move in to the main project for this, which was our science project. These are owl pellets. These are also available on Amazon. I'll put the link below for those, as well as the free worksheets that I printed out for them to use. This was fun. Honestly, I was shocked at how excited my four-year-old was to do this and how long it kept his attention. And my older two loved it as well. I remember doing this as a child and this was really fun. It was not super messy, surprisingly. There was no smell or anything to it. Just so you know, a plastic tablecloth and some gloves, some toothpicks and some tweezers are really all you need. Um, as you can see, we didn't have any plastic gloves available, but it was really interesting to see and try to piece together this living puzzle, so to speak. So we wrapped up our unit study on Friday with another fun project. This is another science project. We did the Oreo Faces of the Moon. Obviously the book Owl Moon includes some information on the moon. Now you could totally go more heavy on the moon study, lighter on the owl study. You can extend this for a few weeks and do a mixture of both. But because we studied astronomy a couple of years ago, I figured my kids still retain some of the information. So we just did this fun Friday project and it was really exciting for the preschooler specifically, but it was actually enjoyable for everyone. So I will again put all the links to the resources for this project below in the description box. This was totally free besides the cost of the Oreos. If you guys have any suggestions for resources that would go along with Owl Moon or if you've done an Owl Moon unit study, I would love to see them in the comments below. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more videos like this, more preschool or unit study based videos, Give this a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye.